Snap Q to revenue declines for percent as ad woes persist. Stock plummets on weak outlook. Snap. Still wrestling with softer ad sales amid stiff competition in the digital advertising sector. Saw its top line drop for percent in the second quarter of 2023, and while it managed to beat Wall Street. Earnings estimates, the Snapchat owner's stock fell on a weaker than expected Q3 outlook. For Q2, the company reported revenue of $1.07 billion and a net loss of $377 million million, or an adjusted loss of two cents per share. It was the second quarter in a row of revenue decline, after Snap sales were off 7% in Q1 for the most recent quarter. Wall Street was expecting the social media and messaging app company to post revenue of $946.7 million and an adjusted net loss of $0.04 cents per share dot at the same time. Snapchat's user base continues to grow in Q2. The app added 14 million daily active users on average in the quarter to hit 397, minus one up from 383 million DAWs in Q1, and an increase of 14% year over year. In discussing its Q3 guidance, Snap said, from a revenue perspective, our business remains in a period of rapid transition as we work to improve our advertising platform. While forward visibility of advertising demand remains limited, the company estimated third quarter revenue will be flat to down by 5%, and that adjusted earnings will be between negative $50 million and negative $100 million. That reflects estimated infrastructure. Costs per daily active user of 79 cents to 84 cents in Q3. As Snap said, is investing in machine learning, AI, and other infrastructure to improve the performance of our ad platform, drive deeper content engagement, and bring innovative product experiences to our community. On the poor Q3 outlook, Snap shares were down more than 17% in after hours trading. In trying to put a positive spin on things, Snap announced a new metric, active advertiser count, claiming it achieved a record number of active advertisers in Q2, up more than 20% year over year, and improved advertiser retention amid the ad sales struggles. Snap has tried to diversify revenue through Snapchat Plus, the $3.99 month subscription service that provides exclusive early access features in late June. The company said it topped for a million paid subscribers one year after launch, equating to an annualized run rate of about $192 million. We are excited by the progress. We have made delivering increased return on investment for our advertising partners, growing our community to 397 million daily active users, and reaching more than 4 million Snapchat Plus subscribers, CEO Evan Spiegel said in announcing the Q to results, Snap touted other data points, trying to convince investors that it's sustaining momentum in certain areas of the business. Total time spent watching Spotlight user-generated content. More than tripled year over year, and Spotlight reached more than 400 million monthly active users. On, minus one in Q2, up 51% year over year. The company also said that since launching its AI-powered MyAI chatbot, more than 150 million Snapchat users have sent over 10 billion messages, which we believe makes MyAI among the largest consumer chatbots. Minus one in Q2, up 51% year over year. The company also said that since launching its AI-powered MyAI chatbot, more than 150 million Snapchat users have sent over 10 billion messages, which we believe makes MyAI among the largest consumer chatbots.